In the Northern Territory during 2016, the Royal Australian Air Force hosted the massive three-week multinational large force employment exercise that is Pitch Black. exercise took place between both the Darwin and Tyndall RAAF bases and trains 2,500 ground crew, pilots and support personnel for potential combat situations and surveillance missions. 115 fighters, turboprops, UAVs, tankers and other aircraft from around the world took part in the day and night operations. Pitch Black also provided a $25 million boost to the Northern Territory economy. Countries participating in Pitch Black were represented by the Royal Canadian Air Force, the French Air Force, Luftwaffe, the German Air Force, the Indonesian Air Force, the Royal Netherlands Air Force, the Royal New Zealand Air Force, the Republic of Singapore Air Force, the Royal Thai Air Force, the United States Pacific Air Forces, and of course, the Royal Australian Air Force. Pitch Black is also an exercise in strengthening relationships between the participating countries, placing a high value on the mutual security that each nation provides. We don't really have much of an opportunity to do very large force employment like we are doing here at Pitch Black. Um, and it also gives us an opportunity to work with a lot of our foreign partners. Um, and we don't get that opportunity in very many other um, exercises. So this is certainly a, a big one for us on the calendar. So for us, it's a really good chance to um, get together with 10 different countries and uh, different air forces. And in fact, the, uh, even the Marine Corps from the uh, United States and get together and learn off each other and learn to interact together. It's uh, Australia's largest air exercise. We've got 10 countries, over 115 aircraft, I think, and uh, we get some big missions done for our training. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft fitted with an M61 Vulcan cannon. The F-15 Eagle, a twin-engine all-weather tactical fighter, is designed to attain air supremacy in aerial combat. The KC-135 Stratotanker is a military aerial refuelling aircraft, one of the first jet-powered refuelling tankers used in military applications. The CN-235 is a medium-range twin-engine transport aircraft designed primarily for maritime patrol, surveillance and air transport. The KC-130J Super Hercules is predominantly a tactical tanker and transport aircraft with a reputation for being the best in the world for aerial refuelling. The FA-18A Classic Hornet is a single-seater multi-role aircraft capable of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The FA-18F Super Hornet is a twin-engine carrier-capable multi-role fighter aircraft also capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The Royal Australian Air Force had an overwhelming range of aircraft involved in Exercise Pitch Black 2016. For the first time they included the IAI Heron a medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle which is predominantly used for surveillance activities. The AP-3C Orion is a four-engine turboprop aircraft capable of anti-submarine and ship warfare, surveillance and search and rescue. The KC-30A is a multi-role tanker transport which is a dramatically modified Airbus A330 airliner used for mid-air refuelling of other aircraft and as an efficient cargo transport. The C-17A Globemaster is a large cargo transport known throughout the military as being able to carry large amounts of cargo across long distances. The E-7A Wedgetail is designed to provide superior air battle space management capabilities, which significantly improves the effectiveness of all facets of the Australian military. 
As a preview to the pitch black open day, thousands of people witnessed the aircraft in action and felt the rumble of the jet engines during a spectacular series of flyovers at the Mindel Beach night markets. More than 18,000 people attended the Pitch Black Open Day, taking the opportunity to get up close and personal with the aircraft and Air Force personnel. So the Open Day is a great opportunity for us to get out amongst the public and basically give them a bit of an insight into uh, you know, what all the extra noise has been about and uh, all the jets that are flying and why we're out here basically and give a bit back. I'm a personnel capability specialist. I'm working for the headquarters of Air Combat Group so I deal with all the members, the personnel in the headquarters ACG for their leave, their pays, travel and all their personal needs. Obviously a lot of people around Darwin will have heard all the uh, loud noise going on and uh, today at this Open Day is a great uh, opportunity to come down and have a look at uh, what's been making all this noise over the last few weeks. The host broadcasters at the Pitch Black Open Day included Aboriginal TV Channel 4, Darwin TV Channel 41. Extreme Radio 91.5 FM. National Aboriginal Radio. And Larrakia Radio 94.5 FM. G'day, squad leader Paul Lynham with the exercise Pitch Black Open Day Preview and joining me tonight at uh, in the studio is the Head of Air Force Special Events, Air Commodore Noddy Suede. Good G'day evening. Paul, how are you? I am outstanding. Well, what we're going to do tonight is actually preview tomorrow's Open Day. We'll look at the uh, the military aircraft that are on display, we'll look at the heritage aircraft, and an important one too, the Indigenous careers in the ADF. Noddy, that uh, very important part of our, our life, isn't it? Oh, it is indeed, Paul. Uh, we want to do as much as we can to get uh, every, give everybody the opportunity to, to come into the Air Force and the other services as well, but we always focus on the Air Force and, uh, and, and get to see uh, a bit more of uh, the world and also uh, get to contribute to the national defence. Well, we're going to talk a lot tonight, so I guess we should start with some music. The Royal Australian Air Force also gave demonstrations on the advantages of using attack dogs. and how they can use robots in bomb defusal and removal. The Pitch Black Open Day is also an excellent opportunity to get insight into the process of applying to join the Royal Australian Air Force. The personnel on the ground were more than willing to answer any questions about working within the Australian Defence Forces. I love, for me, early on when I started, I, uh, I just enjoyed flying. You know, I liked aeroplanes as a kid and I just wanted to fly. You're not even going to work every day, you're doing something you love. It's, uh, it's just a lot of fun and pretty much every day to be able to get up and you know, go out and climb into that thing and go to work is, uh, is pretty exceptional. Well, I would love to commission and become an officer. Um, and in, with that regards, I would want to become a public affairs officer, work with the media, also maybe go into international relations. And as I say, it's just one of those terrific jobs. You, you never know what you're going to get and it's uh, never black and white, so it uh, keeps you on your toes. It's a lot of fun. You can contact Defence on 131901 or check out their online recruitment centre on the Defence Jobs website www.defencejobs.gov Dot AU. Do it, do it, yeah. It's fantastic. I, I love my job, um, it's been great and I would highly recommend it to anyone. If you are thinking about uh, a challenging and exciting career then, uh, then the Air Force really uh, can offer that. But I'd say give it a red hot go because it's a great uh, opportunity to see different parts of the world. I love my job and I see a lot of other happy people around me doing other jobs so you know, it's certainly a, uh, a valuable and rewarding career that I'd, I'd definitely recommend and it's simple as contacting your recruiting office to find out what jobs are available and what you might like. Exercise Pitch Black is a biannual event that will happen again in 2018. Until then, keep your eyes on the sky.